Coding in Rust, you may have come across a trait called sized and question mark sized. These traits indicate whether the size of a type is known or not known at compile time. In this video, I'll explain the difference between the traits sized and question mark sized and also give you some examples. The size trait indicates that the type's size is known at compile time. This trait is automatically implemented for primitive types and combinations of the primitive types. When you're writing code, I don't think you'll come across a situation where you'll have to implement the size trait for your data type. The size of the data types that implement the size trait is known at compile time, so these data will be allocated on the stack. Next is the trait question mark sized. A type that is question mark size means that the size of this type may not be known at compile time. Some examples are dynamically sized types, such as slices and trait objects. Let's look at some examples of data types that are sized and question mark sized. First, I'm going to create two functions, a function that takes in sized as input and another function that takes in question mark sized as input. Inside the main function, I'm going to pass some data types into these functions and see which data type compiles and which do not. This will tell us whether that data type is sized or question mark sized. Now for the function where the generic data type is question mark sized, notice that it is not the type. It is a reference to the type. This is because when you're working with dynamically sized types, they must be behind a reference or a smart pointer. And to show you this, if I were to remove this reference and then try to compile it, the compilation error that I get is T doesn't have a size known at compile time. However, a size of a reference is known at compile time. So when you're working with dynamically sized types, they have to be behind a reference or a smart pointer. Let's look at some examples of sized. Inside the main function, I'll declare some data types. Let's start with primitive types, for example, i32, f64, and boolean. If you pass this into the function f, so f of i, f of x, and f of b, the code still compiles. The size of them are known at compile time, hence we can pass it into the function f. We can also construct the data type that is a combination of these primitive types. When we combine data types where their size is known, the resulting data type's size is also known. For example, let's say that we have a struct called s, where the fields are i32 and i32. The size of i32 is known at compile time. So when we combine i32 with another i32, the size is still known. For example, let's initialize a struct s and then pass this into the function f. Save the file and the code still compiles. The same goes for arrays. In this example, the elements are i32, where the size is known at compile time, and the length for the array is also fixed to 4. Hence, we can pass this array into the function f. Save the file and the code still compiles. For the final example of size, we can also pass in a reference to some data. For example, a reference to an array, since the size of a reference is known at compile time. Next, let's look at some examples of question mark sized. Earlier, I said that some examples are dynamically sized types such as slices and trait objects. Let's start with slices. I'll first declare a slice, a slice where the elements are i32. Why are slices dynamically sized types? The answer is you can start out with some kind of vector or an array and inside your program, you can slice it up to create a slice. So the length of the slice depends on the program execution, hence it is only known at runtime. So a slice is a data type that is question mark sized. To show you this, I'm going to pass this slice into the function g. Remember, g is a function that takes in a type that implements the question mark sized. So we'll pass in the slice. Notice that a slice is behind a reference. And for the input of g, we need to pass in this type t, which is behind some kind of reference. OK, and our code compiles. Another example is a string slice. So let's say that s is equal to hello. The type of this will be a reference to a string slice. And then let's pass this into the function g, g of s. And again, the code compiles. We can check that a slice and a string literal is question mark sized by going up here to the function definition and then removing this question mark. If those data types were sized, then when we save the file, the code should compile. And if they are not, when we save the file, the code should not compile. So save the file and then scroll down and you can see that there's an error here now. So these data types are indeed question mark sized. Let's go fix the function. I need to add a question mark here. For the last example, I'll show you that trait objects are also question mark sized. Trait objects are a reference or a smart pointer that points to a type that implements some trait. For example, let's say that we have some trait called A and then a function called D that for the input, it takes in a box of D, Y, N of A. 
Here the input is declared as some type that implements the trait A, and this type is stored in a box. This is an example of a trait object. For this example, I'll say that the data type U32 implements the trait A. Now let's look at an example of passing a trait object into the function G. Let's say that we have a value V that is behind the box, and the thing that is stored inside this box is a type that implements the trait A, DYN8. We'll instantiate this by saying box new and then storing a data type of u32, 1u32. Above the main function, we declare that u32 implements the trait A, and then we're putting this data inside the box. So this is an example of a trait object. The size of a trait object is not known at compile time, since this dyna can be any type that implements the trait A. For example, it can be a u32, or it can be a string, or a vector. The size is not known at compile time. Hence, we'll be able to pass this b into the function g. So we can say g reference to b. And the code compiles. These are examples of the traits sized and question mark sized.